In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus K2SO4. This is silver nitrate, and this is potassium sulfate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see I have two silvers here and just one here. So I'm going to put a two here. Now I have two nitrates, two of these nitrates here, and just one here. I'll put a two here. Now I have two potassiums and two here. So those are balanced and I only have one sulfate on each side. So that's the balanced equation, balanced molecular equation. Now I need to write the states for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble. In water, they will dissolve, dissociate into their ions. So we're going to write aqueous after our silver nitrate. Potassium compounds and sulfate compounds are usually soluble. So we're going to write AQ for that as well. Silver sulfate, silver is an odd compound when it comes to solubility. Let's look this up on a chart of solubility here. So we find silver right here, and then sulfate is over here. So I go across and then down, and I see SS, slightly soluble. So when we have a slightly soluble compound dealing with these net ionic equations, we consider that insoluble. So if it's insoluble, it won't dissolve, it won't split apart into its ions, and it's a solid. It's actually a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. KNO3, that's another nitrate, so that's going to be soluble. We'll write AQ after that. So we have our states. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll be the complete ionic equation. Sometimes it's called the total ionic equation. So silver on the periodic table, even though it's a transition metal, it's kind of an exception. It always has a one plus ionic charge. The nitrate ion, good one to remember, is one minus. So I have two silver ions, and I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that now. And I'll have two nitrate ions. Potassium group one, that has a one plus, and the sulfate ion, the whole ion, is two minus. So I have two potassium ions, and then I'll also have a sulfate ion. So these are our reactants in the net ionic equation. For the products, the silver sulfate is a solid. So we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. It's just Ag2SO4. It's a solid. KNO3, we said potassium 1 plus, the nitrate 1 minus. We have two potassium ions here and two nitrate ions. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In effect, they really haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. I can see here in the reactants two nitrate ions and two in the product. Let's just cross those out. Two potassium ions, and again, in the products we have two potassium ions. Cross them out. Everything else is unique, though. So these things here make up our net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus K2SO4. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our balanced net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus potassium sulfate. We have the same number of each type of atom on both sides, two silver atoms, two silver atoms, and then we have a sulfate here and a sulfate here, and the charge is conserved. We have two times the one plus, that's two plus, that balances out the two minus, and we have a neutral compound. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus K2SO4. Thanks for watching.